Sun. Once upon a time, seven little goats lived happily with their mother in a cute green town where the sun was always bright. The seven little goats went to the town school every day. They loved the school. Their teacher and their friends. One day, before classes began, they started playing volleyball in the garden. Kids, please calm down. There's no need to be unpleasant towards each other. Gather around. I've got some good news for you. We'll start playing matches at big cities in order to qualify for the National League. Yay! We'll have to train harder from now on. Our first match is next week. Remember that you must play like a team if you want to win. We will keep that in mind. The seven little goats got their backpacks excitedly and went home. Hello, kids! Mom, Mom guess, guess what, what happened, happened today? Happened today? What happened? Tell me, but one at a time, please. Mommy, our coach told us we'll play against other schools next week in order to play in the National League. This is great news. I'm so proud of you kids. Now, I'll prepare your favorite meal. Hooray! In the meantime, do your homeworks. Do not waste any time. A week went by. They were ready for the match after having trained hard every day. They decided to do one last practice match with a neighboring town's team. All right, everybody ready? You're going to be late for school. You've got your equipment, right, kids? Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Don't, don't, don't worry. worry. The little goats walked to school. Reminding one another about their tasks and what to do in the match. All right, kids, I believe in you. You trained so hard and trusted each other. Now we'll play our last practice match. Meanwhile, Wolf was plotting a scheme. He didn't like team games because he always wanted to steal the spotlight. If you're ready, let's begin our last practice match. Yes! The match was going well, but then Bad Wolf spiked the ball intentionally and hit one of the little goat's face so hard that the little goat fell to the ground. They stopped the match. Everybody got worried and they circled the little goat. Step aside, kids. The doctor will examine him now. Everything's going to be okay. The doctor examined the little goat. The kid was recovering from the blow. Don't worry, kids. It's nothing serious. He just needs some rest. He can play again in three days. I can play in his place. I'm much better than him anyway. Uh, uh, I'm all right. Don't worry about me. I got hit on the face, but I don't remember the rest. I know what happened. I've had my eye on you for a while. You only think about yourself and do not believe in teamwork. 
I don't want any players hurting one another. I don't tolerate such behavior. I won't have bad sportsmanship in my team. Therefore, you cannot play in our team. Wolf didn't know what to do. He packed his things without saying a word and walked away. Now we are short a player, but do not fret. Our substitute players have trained as hard as you have and are ready for the match. Thank you, coach. I'll do my best. The little goats went home excitedly. They ate dinner and went to bed. They dreamed of the championship. Come on, kids. It's time to get up. Today, it's your first match of the championship. Mommy, we are not late, are we? No, dear. Don't worry. There's still time. Mom, I can't find my sneakers. <laughs> we packed our things last night, remember? Mom, Mom we're ready. We are ready. I wish you good luck. I believe you'll win as long as you believe in yourselves and the importance of teamwork. Love you all. It was time for the match. The little goats played well on the court and won the match. Yay! We are, we are such, such a great, great, team. great team! Our little brother was not bad at all. You did better than I expected, children. Congratulations! We have five more important matches ahead of us. There will be one match every week, and each time we'll play on a different court. Now, let's go back to the town and keep training for the championship. Mommy, Mommy we, we won, won the last match. Last match! That's great news! I'm so happy, kids! I'm so proud of you! We play one match every week. I'm so tired that I just want to go to bed. But I'm also starving. <laughs> of course, it's not easy what you did. You used up all your energy. Food is ready. Let's set the table together and eat. Weeks pass by quickly. The little goats won every match. They were eagerly awaiting the final match. Meanwhile, Bad Wolf refused to stay on the sidelines. So, he managed to get a player position in the final match. I can't wait to see the little goats' faces when they see me on the court. <laughs> Fortunately, I found a coach who knows what a good player I am. I'm going to teach them a lesson this time. <laughs> The day of the final match was here. The coach huddled the players to give them a few strategies. Do you see what I'm seeing? I can't believe it! How did this happen? This is the championship match, kids. Don't let anything bring you down. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the real champion. The match started and Bad Wolf, with the advantage of his height, began to score for his team. The poor little goats could neither get any points nor could they prevent Wolf from scoring. When the first set was over, the opponent team was crushing the little goats team. We have to do something or we'll lose the game! What can we do? Didn't you see how Wolf strikes the ball with such anger? You're overlooking something, kids. What? Wolf is the only active player in the opponent team. So? So, if you all play to stop Wolf, you can beat them. But you need teamwork for that. Remember, a volleyball match consists of three sets. We've got two more sets. I have a plan. Now listen carefully. The second set began. 
Wolf had the ball and when he went to strike the ball, he was immediately met with the block. He was dumbfounded and the little goat scored the point. Whenever the players of the opponent team tried to step in, Wolf yelled at them to pass the ball to him. The little goats already knew what they had to do. The opponent's team's players got so mad at Wolf that they stepped off the court and left the match. I've never seen anything like this before. So much for teamwork! Wolf was left alone on the court and the little goats won the match easily. Wolf realised his mistake, but it was too late. The little goats held the trophy above their heads proudly. They understood the importance of teamwork that day and went back to their town happily. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.